So what I've got behind me today are a couple of my own homemade wands. So I wanted to do a DIY video for how to make them. This one is a light up wand that is a replica of Tina Goldstein's um, with just an LED on the end. And then this one is a replica of Dumbledore's original wand, the one he had before the Elder Wand. So, you will need some straws. You can do it with just one straw. I chose to use three different size straws to get the right tapering effect, especially for this handle right here, to have the handle be significantly thicker than the rest of the wand. My Dumbledore wand only had two small size straws and I just made it thicker using hot glue so that's the other thing is you will need some hot glue and then if you're making a light up wand you will need some spare wire I used some wire from an old charger you'll need an LED I just got one from a flashlight that I would never really used anyway and a battery and some paper and electrical tape anything that I used I just found around my house the only thing I bought for it was the paints so that I could make them the right color anyway so let's get to making the wands. You start by making the basic wand form. If you're making a light up wand then you will most definitely need to make the base straws because you need to fit the wire on the inside. If you're just making a wand then you can use anything that's thin and stiff. You can use a chopstick, you can use some dowels, whatever works. I started for my Tina wand, I started by cutting the straws to the right length so that I could have that nice tapering effect. And then you glue them together and then you cover them with paper to smooth out the surface and also make it so the paint will stick. And then the second step is adding the wiring. This is definitely the most difficult part. I started by making the switch. So you need some thicker wire here. On my first attempt, I actually did this with just the metal from a spiral bound notebook. But then I also found some normal wire. So I use that instead because it's more easy to manipulate. You'll start by making a loop around the wand at about where your thumb would be when you're holding the wand. And then you want to take that and bend it back around the base of the wand. And then take a second piece of thicker wire and across from where you had the wire running down the wand, you should make another piece of wire and bend that around to loop it around the base of the wand again. And this will form your switch that can turn the light on and off. And then you just have to have two pieces of wire that are the length of the wand and then one smaller piece of wire. Then you'll want to connect the two long wires to the LED light and thread them through the wand. Once the two wires are sticking out of the end of the wand, you will want to get your battery and tape one side of the battery to one of the wires that is now sticking out of the wand and then tape one end of the short piece of wire to the other side of the battery. Tape it together so it'll stick together well. The wand that I made, this is actually the first one I've ever made work and it works pretty well but sometimes it flickers because on this step I didn't tape the wire perfectly to the battery so sometimes it gets disconnected and I just have to squeeze here to make it work better where the battery is. But that's definitely something that could have been fixed if I caught it sooner. So once you have finished connecting those wires to the battery, you will still have two pieces of wire that are sticking out of the wand and you will want to connect those to each of the thicker wire that you use to make the switch. Once that is completed, it should work. Make sure since it is an LED light that you are connecting the right wires because LEDs do have a positive and negative wire so you will need to make sure that before you connect it all you're connecting the right wires to each other. So once you've got all of the wiring complete you'll just have to stick that back inside the wand and add some glue to the LED and to the end to keep everything in place. At this point I also added an extra layer of paper over the base of the wand to cover up the wires that form the switch except for where the loop and the wire should touch for the switch. You could also cover it up with some hot glue as well. As we go into the last step which is the design point Portion. Now design is completely up to you, you can do whatever you want, but I based mine off of Tina's wand, so I did kind of a handle at the base with 
thicker parts on either end of the handle and I also thickened up the part above the switch with hot glue and then I also glued down the places where some of the paper was sticking out a little bit and this part is completely up to you you can do whatever you want and the last step is to just paint it and so I just painted this one all brown you can do a lot of different things with Dumbledore's wand that I did these steps were the ones that were much more complex because if you can see there's a much more intricate design but yeah it turned out good but if you want to just make a plain wand without the light like I ended up doing with Dumbledore's wand then you can just skip all of the wiring in step two all the complicated parts just make a base and then decorate it with hot glue and paint it and it's really simple the story behind my Dumbledore one is this was actually the original one I was going to make light up the thing was that I made the design first and I did it on normal size straws but with the design that is Dumbledore's wand it makes it so it's really heavy and there's these spots in the middle that are a lot thinner so it makes it easy to bend. So it would bend a little bit too much and if I put the wiring in since I used thinner straws I couldn't fit anything else into the wand that would stiffen it up. So what I ended up doing was I just made this a wand without the LED and I stuck a couple of thin dowels on the inside so it wouldn't bend so much. But anyway, it's been really fun making these wands. They turned out really well. I can put up maybe a picture of each of the wands. Here's Dumbledore's and here is Tina's. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own light up wand or normal wand. I hope that you'll be able to do it on your own and have some really cool wands to play around with. Now let me go play with mine. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Harry Potter and educational videos. Bye!